Have you ever wondered how to make grounded mode worse? Well, last time I made the game a little too easy, so I figured this time I would try to give myself a little more of a challenge. There's all these filters that they have in the extras menu on The Last of Us, and I figured why not kill two birds with one stone? I'll make the game a little more difficult and figure out which are the best and the worst filters. So I coded a simple program in Python that'll give me a random filter each time I die. The game starts off as always, as a 20 minute walking simulator and tutorial before you finally drop some dead weight. In true Southpaw's fashion, the first time I get into real combat, I immediately mess it up. Well, at least I know my program is working. It would have been awesome if I knew that picking that shiv up would make me stand up, but oh well. After dealing with a man basically teleporting, I finally got to move on to what is probably the worst filter in the game. Pop poster is horrific. I can kind of see it while editing the video, but while I was playing, I could not find the reticle and just had no idea where I was shooting. Yeah, Tess, you sure did. This is definitely my second least favorite filter. 8-bit is just so confusing. I don't know if it's just the way that everything renders. Even though I've played this game multiple times and know where everything is, I was struggling to figure out where to go. I was honestly thankful to be killed at this point. God damn it, Tess. I knew that I had no chance of seeing those enemies here, so I just went for the Molotov. still out. Oh man. You can't deny that view. Ellie, that is so ugly. Fireflies. I mean, real fireflies. Yeah, I see that. How? Ellie, they're getting close. I really felt like I shot Ellie there. This approach clearly wasn't working. I think it's time to switch over to my bow and arrow for those stealth kills. commenter for the tip. I will keep that in mind for my next playthrough. Okay, I think it's hilarious that some of these filters make it so things just won't render, like there won't be a reflection in the mirror, and here glass doesn't even show up, so it just makes it seem like the most dramatic fight. As usual for one of my playthroughs, Pittsburgh put up the biggest fight for me, at least while playing as Joel. The good news is that it gave me a great opportunity to check out all the different filters. It also gave me a chance to see all of the different death animations. started learning something, that you shouldn't lift your head up any more than you absolutely need to, and for never more than a half a second at a time. In total, this was my seventh playthrough of Pittsburgh, and I finally did it. Time to celebrate.
I was spamming triangle here. You know, for how ugly this filter is, it's really not that bad. Infected. Are you sure, Sam? Are you really sure? I had no idea that you actually had to interact with that prompt. I really thought it was something where Sam would just go through the vent at some point. I was obviously wrong. I feel sick. There's no way the exact same thing would happen twice in a row, right? There's no way the exact same thing would happen twice in a row, right? Here's where I got a fun little lesson in resource management. I think I can punch ghosts now. Okay, I can't even blame the filter. I was just tunneled. Tommy's dam went flawlessly. Throughout this whole section, I had almost no ammo, and I was struggling so hard to figure out how to kill all these enemies without pretty much any cover. I eventually made it through. Once I got to the ranch, I only died a couple times. This filter is called 1960. I think it's one of my favorites. It just looks really cool with the blood splatter after you get a kill or after you get killed. I once saw a comment online that said grounded mode is basically just an empty drawer simulator. I get it now. <laughs> I'm in danger. Good thing I found all those resources that would really come in handy in this fight. I eventually made it out of the science lab, and I don't really know why Joel was so dramatic that he didn't want to keep fighting, but I guess now it's Ellie's turn. This filter void is actually really cool. It gives really good contrast between you and the enemies, but it doesn't have a very far render distance, so I just kept running around along the perimeter trying to find my way out. I don't need your sass, David. I love it when the game bugs out and everything just disappears during the death animation. In case you couldn't already tell, I have not yet figured out how to play Ellie effectively. Granted, that's not to say that I know how to play Joel effectively either. Here's where I realized I had no chance of stealth killing all of these clickers and I just needed to make a run for it. Luckily it ended up working on my first try.
At some point I took damage and never ended up healing, so anytime I got touched by a single runner, I just instantly died. I obviously eventually learned from my mistake, and I actually started doing kind of well on this run. At least until I picked up this nail bomb and didn't realize it was still in my hand when I went to aim and shoot. Of course, there's David. At least once the bloater's dead, it's smooth sailing from here. I can't imagine how this dude could have ever seen me. Once again, once I got a couple kills in, I figured my best chance was to run as far and as fast as possible. I really think the worst part about this challenge was getting all of these dark filters in areas that are already dimly lit. It made it almost impossible to see what I was supposed to be doing. Maybe if I just stay in one spot, they won't see me. I actually only put this in here because I wanted to show off myself finally getting the David fight perfect. Just kidding. Of course I didn't. At least Joel should be better prepared for this section, right? I eventually learned that if I just crawled through these windows at the back of the house after getting a kill, the enemies seemed to lose me. Here he is. He's in here. Oh. Where the hell are you? After finally making it through the winner section, I took Ellie to a zoo to see some weird looking horses. this moment that he knew he fucked up I trimmed out a lot of this but I was running for like four minutes there we go nice and quiet I wish I had any other excuse here other than being terrible at the game. Next I had to pick up Ellie from her swim lessons because she had to go to a doctor's appointment. During the winter section I became so fond of windows that I tried to use it a lot here. It really didn't work out in my favor. God, you can never get any privacy. Sure game, that's obviously what I wanted to do. I eventually found myself in this corner office that gave me a pretty good view of all the enemies coming by. I was able to sneak through the window and run down to the last enemy for this level. Despite how everything looks in my edit, I do feel like I was at least getting a little bit better by the end of the game. Call it a miracle, but I somehow managed to make it through the entire last level without dying a single time. 
finally made my way up to Jerry, because it was time for a shot. And just like that, I finished another ridiculous playthrough of The Last of Us. While this isn't a great assessment of the best and worst filters, it did let me try out each of them and I was able to figure out which ones I liked the best. In all, it was a pretty fun playthrough, even if it did take me almost 10 hours. I struggled for a long time. Anyway, thanks for watching. Let me know if you have any other dumb ideas for me to try out. Okay. It's pretty goddamn stupid.